All right, kiddos, so we're going to do CRQ 16 today. You're going to write about um, angiosperm reproduction. So that is how flowering plants reproduce. And you have to do a couple of things in your CRQ. You're going to have to label the parts of a flower and then write a CRQ um, a paragraph about the reproductive parts of the flower. So what you're going to do is go to um, explorelearning.com and log in to our class gizmo, our biology gizmo. You log in. If you don't remember how to log in, you can use the class code um, or you can of course, if you really need to, email me for your username and password and I might be able to get it for you. Um, but try to log in on your own or use the class code first. So if you are in section one, your class code is 24RXMQ. If you're in section two, that is our one o'clock class, 7JHXXX is your enrollment code. And if you're in section three, uh, your enrollment code is HLRMW3. So once you log in, um, go to pollination, flower to fruit, launch the gizmo. And I'm going to go through the gizmo for you here, um, but you can also open it up on your own screen and follow along as I do the gizmo. So I'm going to change this to open view and I'm going to click this box down here. And so what you see here is a flower and all of the internal parts of a flower. Now these parts up here you typically can actually see when you personally look at a real flower. Um, down in here you would have to take the flower apart to see this part. So what you do is you grab a vocabulary term and you put it in a box to label the part. And if you get it right, if you've checked this box, um, it'll tell you some information about that structure. If you get it wrong, it'll say incorrect. So then you try another box and it still says incorrect at the bottom. So I'll try another box. And once you get it correct, it'll tell you what the function of that um, part of the flower is. So it says anther is the structure that contains pollen. Okay, so well, um, pollen, right, would be the little tiny yellow things on flowers that get stuck on bees. Okay, so then you go to the next one, put it in a box, I got it wrong, put it over here, and I got it right. And so it will tell you what this part of the flower does. This is the female reproductive system of the flower. It's called the pistil. Um, it contains, it consists of the stigma, the style, and the ovary. Well, if it consists of the stigma, the style, and the ovary, then those parts are probably over here. So let's go find the stigma. And I bet that goes there. It does. I got it right. It's the sticky surface region of the pistil where pollen germinates. Um, and then what was it? This pistil, if I click on pistil, it says stigma and then style. So I'll put that there. And for style, it says it's the region of the pistil bearing the stigma. It is the structure through which the pollen tube will form. And then the last one I think was, if I click back on pistil, was the ovary. So I'll go grab ovary and I'll put that there. And the ovary is the region of the pistil where the ovules are kept. Well, that leads me to my next vo vocabulary term, which is ovule. So I'll go grab that. So if the ovules are kept in the ovary, if I look at the picture, here are the little things being kept in the ovary, so that would be where the ovule label goes. So these little white structures are the little eggs. The structures in the ovary containing the egg cells, which develop into seeds after fertilization. All right, so it looks like I have the pistil completely filled in. And obviously the pistil, it says here, is the female reproductive parts of the, uh, contains the female reproductive parts of the flower. It's the stigma, which is up here, not the yellow dots. The yellow dots are pollen. Um, so I could go ahead and take pollen and put that up there. So my, the stigma is part of the pistil and it is way up here. The style is also part of the pistil and that's this section right here. The ovary is part of the pistil and that is this section right here. The ovary contains the ovules, which are the egg cells. 
So let's keep filling in some stuff. Um, let's put this one here because I believe that's where that goes. So this is the stamen, this section here, this thing all the way down through here. These are stamen. You notice there's a couple of them. And the stamen is the male reproductive system of the flower and it consists of the filament and the anther. Well, we already labeled the anther. That's this part up here. Not the little yellow dots. The little yellow dots are pollen. And it also says it consists of the filament and the anther. So let me go grab filament. That must go there. And indeed, this part here is the filament. It's the stalk that supports the anther. And let's fill in some more stuff. Petals, I know what petals are, right? Those are flower petals. The brightly colored part of the flower that functions in attracting insects to the flower. Um, I think these are sepals. Yep, these are the leaves, the floral leaves or individual segments of the calyx. It protects while the bud, right? It protects the bud while the flower is forming inside the bud. Um, pedicel, pedicel, I should say. I think that's this one. Yep, a small stalk bearing a single flower. Receptacle, I think, is this one. It's the flat, concave, or convex part of the stem from which all parts of the flower arise. It's like the cup that holds the flower. And then last but not least, we have the pollen tube, which is the slender tube that grows from a pollen grain, penetrates the ovule, and releases male gametes. So what you have to do now that it's labeled, you have to either grab a screenshot of this and put it in the um, CRQ or when you write your CRQ you'll notice that they're labeled with letters. So let me show you what that So the next thing you have to do is um, once you get the parts labeled in the gizmo, you have to tell me what they're called. So you can actually just write a list, like A is called the stamen, B, whatever it's called, C I think was the, the anther. You just write in what, um, what you think it's called and then you're going to write about the male and female structures. So you can do A through H and N. So you only have to write about A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and N. You do have to label all the parts, right? So once you label them in the gizmo, you can grab a screenshot and just put that screenshot in here for your CRQ or list all the parts, make sure you put the right letter with the right part. And then when you write about the parts, you only have to write about A through H and letter N.